Ladies and gents, my good friend Dave Friedman has come out with a Wawa pedal. It is the No More Tears Gold 72 Wawa. And uh, you heard it, of course, on all the guitar parts on that weird schizophrenic piece of music at the beginning of the video, but I had a great time recording that. A lot of fun. I made a margarita, drank it out of my cactus glass, and uh, so bear with me. So this is just a killer sounding Wawa pedal. It's got three different voicings. One, two, three, available on this little toggle switch right here uh, on the underside of the pedal. Dave suggested I use the all the way up setting for the dirty stuff. So that's what I did. Real aggressive sweep, real throaty and stuff like that. Sounded really good. And then I used the middle setting for the uh, clean guitars. So it's got three different voicings, but one thing I noticed uh, across all three voicings is, is that it has this really aggressive, cool kind of like, wow, right at the end of the sweep of the travel of it. Does that make sense? Wow. I'm going to do that one more time. Wow. Uh, right at the end of the sweep of the pedal, it's just got this notch in it that just gets really gnarly in a cool way. Right at the end of the sweep of the pedal. So if when you get used to playing it, it's got a unique kind of character to it that I really like. It, that reminds me a lot of vintage Waz that have, you know, kind of not such a linear thing going on. Some modern Waz are, I don't know, boring for a lack of a better term. This one is, it really feels like you're plugging in a vintage Waz that's got some mojo and an interesting kind of non-linear sweep to it. And I really enjoyed playing it. Couple other things about the pedal. Uh, it's got a really thick bass plate. Okay, you know how on Waz a lot of times you put like dual lock or like, uh, you know, Velcro on the bottom and stuff, and then they get all screwed up and they just kind of get all bent and stuff, especially vintage Waz were like that. But they just kind of have these crappy bass plates on them. Not this one, it's got a real, real thick bass plate, so that's cool. This wall also has a great buffer in it that's actually um, defeatable if you want. If you want to have no buffers on your pedal boards and you want to lose high end, go right ahead. But uh, if you don't want to do that, the wall ships with the, uh, the buffer active, I do believe. And it's on the output of the pedal. Long story short, it's the same uh, buffer that is in Friedman's buffer bay on his pedal boards, which is a really, really high quality pedal board buffer. I use it. I've got a Friedman pedal board and it sounds just great. So if you've got this wah pedal, you're not going to need to uh, invest in another buffer. Okay, so I'm going to solo a few of the guitar parts from the song at the beginning of the video outside of the mix so you can hear the different voicings of the wah, the middle setting that I used on the clean sounds, as well as the all the way up setting that I used on the dirty stuff. There is a few tricks and things that I like to do, especially when I'm recording with wahs, so I'm going to show you guys that now. Um, one of the things that I like to do is record a stereo guitar part with wahs, and I sort of try and loosely match, like if I record a part in the left channel, when I record the next one, the one that's going to be panned hard right, what I do is kind of try and loosely match what I did with the wah wah. Uh, in, in, you know, on both guitar parts. But kind of what ends up happening is the two guitar parts sort of fight each other a little bit and it has this really, really cool sound to me. So I dig that a lot. And there's another part that I'm going to show you as well. Uh, I did a stereo ambient kind of part where I used um, Line 6 Helix Native to add a little bit of reverb and delay to the tracks. And then I roll the wah on and I just kind of roll it on real slow while I'm like playing a, a, a chord that I kind of drag out, you know, and pick real slow. And then as the wah kind of opens up, the delay kind of tails out, and it just has a really beautiful sound. So I think it's kind of a cool trick for making kind of ambient beds uh, that, that have a, a unique character to them. The wah kind of creates that. So I'm going to show you that in a second here. Wow, 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 wow,
Okay then, thanks for watching my video on the Gold 72 No More Tears Wah from my good pal Dave Friedman. Sounds just great. It's got a lot of kind of cool vintage mojo going on. I really enjoyed playing through it. Uh, if you want a wah with some character and with a, some options as far as switching the voicing as well as with a terrific output buffer if you need a good buffer for your pedal board, this one is the one to get. You can check it out further at the website you see there on your screen. Thanks for bearing with me through my Margarita Field video and hey, hit subscribe if you haven't come back and see me real soon for more videos. I'm Pete Thorne. Take care.